Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here and today we are going to be asking some questions about how the upcoming sticky stimulus package could potentially be affecting the stock market. So let's go ahead and rewind a little bit to the CARES Act. So let's go back and look into the CARES Act and look at the timing. Look at the days that it was signed and how that affected the stock market. So the original CARES Act proposal included $500 billion in direct payments to Americans. 208 billion to loans to major industry and 300 billion to small business admin loans. As a result of a bipartisan negotiations, the bill grew to 2 trillion in the version unanimously passed by the Senate on March 25th of 2020. The next day, it was passed in the House via voice vote and signed into law by President Donald Trump on March 27th. So, let's look at those days, the 25th the 26th and the 27th of March. We're gonna go to be looking at the S&P 500 index, 25, 26, and 27. Well, what we can see here is that on March 23rd is when the S&P bottomed. This is the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th, all green days. Not just green days, but a complete reversal in the market. Some may say a V-shaped recovery. So let's go ahead and take a look at the percentages dropped and how much we have gained back. So from the top of the market, which was approximately February 19th, down here to the bottom, there was a 35% decline. Since then, the market has recovered approximately 33%. So we are actually getting close to all-time highs. All-time high is approximately just under $3,400. Today's high has been $3,303. So we are approaching all-time highs. Personally, I believe that if we break the previous all-time high, the sky is the limit. We can see the S&P take off quite quickly. That would be a bullish scenario. The second thing we could potentially see is a double top. I think that what's gonna happen is to this week there is a possibility that the second stimulus bill will pass. So the Senate goes on recess at the end of the week for 30 days. And I'm finding it very doubtful that they will not come to an agreement and just leave on recess without ever getting anything done. But it is Congress, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that there's a big possibility that a deal could potentially be done by the end of the week. I think that is a pretty decent scenario, but what might even be more likely is that they decide to postpone recess maybe a week and spend next week additionally trying to get the deal done. I think that as soon as we see another stimulus in place, I believe the, the S&P will break the previous high of approximately 3,500, and we will be in a price discovery phase. Sure, there is a possibility that a second stimulus won't pass, but I think that is highly unlikely. Right now, we're seeing both agreement from the Republicans and the Democrats on things like the $1,200 stimulus check, as well as 500 for dependents. We're seeing, it's looking like we're gonna see at least 105 billion go to education. And it's also looking like the unemployment benefits will return will be in somewhere that, uh, between the 200 and the 600 dollar range. So it seems like a stimulus is inevitable. But the question is the timing. Obviously this is nothing set in stone, but I think it was it would be interesting to go back and look at the days that the stimulus was passed originally and to see where the market is now, how things have shifted since then. Clearly it's been nothing short of good for the market. But is this artificially inflated? That is the question. If you believe that the stimulus will be passing in the next week or two and that is going to have a positive impact on the economy, it might be time to start entering some positions. So that's all I had for you today. As always, go out there, create a portfolio that you love. And if you haven't started creating your portfolio yet, make sure to check out the links down below where you can get yourself free Bitcoin one free stock on Robinhood and two free stocks on Weeble after you deposit your first $100. Take care and have a wonderful day.